What is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you a new product research hack that I found out when I was doing an experiment. I actually found an okay product doing this method and I don't see other people on YouTube showing you this method, so I thought I would share it with you. Like I say in all my videos, product research is the hardest part of the whole process. You're not going to find a product to sell in one day. It might take some time. There's a lot of different ways to find products, so you got to get creative. So hopefully this video will help you find that good product to sell on Amazon. So we're gonna get into my computer, but before we do, if you could just hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm, subscribe to the channel, drop a comment down below if you wanna win my Amazon FBA course. I pick a random winner from the comment section at the end of every month, and I give them my Amazon course or a $100 prize, so keep an eye out for that. But let's get into my computer right now and show you how I found a product using this new hack. So I've seen a lot of YouTube videos where they say you go to the new releases tab, and then you pick a category on the left, so I chose nursery decor. You could go through all of these, and it's it's going to show you all of the new releases that came on Amazon in the last couple weeks, but this is the way that I do it. So I go on Amazon and I'm just going to go back to all categories. So go up here, all departments, and then I'm just going to type in a random word. So like I said, I like small and light products. So I typed in silicone, if I could spell it right. You could also type in wood or plastic. It doesn't matter what you type in here. And then we're just going to hit search. And then all you're going to do is come over here to sort by and we're going to do newest arrivals. So now instead of going to a certain category and trying to find products that way, we're going to find all of the newest products that include the keyword silicone. So I'm going to click on this and then we're going to look at the different products that pop up. I wouldn't sell that because it has to do with drinking, but I do see this thing right here. So this is an AirTag K silicone protective cover. Apple actually announced AirTags yesterday, so they're not even on the market yet. So I could see these products having high demand once they start buying this Apple product, but nobody has them yet because they just came out. Um, let me actually double check to see when they came out. So I'm going to go on Google. I typed in AirTag Apple official site and you could see they introduced them less than one day ago. So I'm going to go back to Amazon and I am actually going to type in AirTag case on Amazon. So now that we found a okay product, we think we're going to go here. So AirTag case, we could see there's not that many because they announced it yesterday, but you could see they're going for about 15, $16. Um, you could have different colors. This is a two pack. And this one is the best seller with no reviews because it just came out. It's like a hard case. So we could see what's going on here. Um, let me keep going down here. Some of these are really expensive, so let's see how much they cost to manufacture. If we wanted to sell these, we have a cool design. And um, we're gonna go on Alibaba, and I'm gonna type in Air Tags case and see how much they cost. So you could buy these and ship them to Amazon for under $1, and the fees would be around three to $4 on a product this size. So there is room for margin, um, but you can see there's different colors they offer, different material, different shapes. Um, but you get the point, you could get these for pretty cheap under $1. And then they're selling these things on Amazon. Let me go back here, 15 to $20. Some are cheaper, like this one's $7. You would make a couple dollars per sale before PPC. Since this is a brand new market, we don't know how flooded it's gonna get. Obviously, it's gonna get a lot more competitive than it is right now. Many of these sellers have under 10 reviews and that is because they just launched this product yesterday. So another thing I saw on Google that just caught my eye was Apple's AirTags don't have a built-in keychain. So all it comes is with this little tag right here. So they're gonna wanna buy these cases to hold them with their keys so they don't lose them. They're not just gonna get this little tag and hold it in their pocket because they could lose it. So I think a lot of people are going to buy these products once they start buying this air tag um, apple products do very well as you know apple is a huge company so people always buy apple accessories to protect apple's products the only main issue is if we go back to amazon and we run helium 10 um, i'm going to go here and there's probably not that much data because they just started selling them pretty recent. The average reviews are one, the average price is 14, and there is no revenue. Once people start buying these, these charts are gonna change and there's gonna be demand. But since it's so new, we found it by filtering out the new releases. We don't know how well this product's gonna do. We don't know how many people are actually gonna buy it. So this would be a very risky product, but the good thing is it's a very cheap product. You could get them for under $1 and sell them on Amazon for anywhere from 10 to $20. These are pretty high, but that's a huge margin if you're selling it for $17 and you get it for $1. Um, you could do the math, use the FBA fee calculator and calculate your profit margin. Again, I just typed in silicone. I found it right here and then I did further research. But again, we don't have that much data on it because it's brand new to the market. But you could go through here and find other products like this cast iron deluxe silicone 
one handle holder. Go on Amazon, type in that keyword and see if it's a competitive market. Look at all the different factors like reviews, BSR, search volume, different keywords, um, ways you could differentiate the product. Here you have silicone ashtrays. I would have never thought of that if I didn't do this search. So there's a lot of different types of products that will pop up under newest arrivals. And chances are those are newer products that are not sold on Amazon. You're gonna find some products that have been on Amazon for a while popping up here like water bottles. Obviously we know that's a competitive market. You never know what you will find when you do this random product research hack. All right, that's it for this video. If you need help with your own Amazon FBA business, check out all of my links right down below. There's a lot of different ways to do product research, so don't get hung up on one method. I have about four or five different methods in my course. All right, that is it for this video. Don't forget to hit that like button, drop a comment down below, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.